I use you mightily. King David, you are also a man after my own heart. And King David, I use you to slay that old giant Goliath because nobody else can do it. But I used you, David, because there was a purpose and there was a mission that I had and there was a ministry I laid upon your life. But King David, don't forget where you came from. For King David, you haven't always been where you are. King David, do you remember when you committed adultery one day with that woman? Do you remember Bathsheba, that Ethiopian woman bathing on the rooftop? But you should have had your behind at war with your men. But King David, I want to remind you of that to keep you grounded. And you have the nerve and audacity to place her husband Uriah on the front line just so he would be murdered. But it was because you just trying to cover up the sin that you committed in your life. You got her pregnant. Call it like it is, David. Don't forget where you came from. For we are all a work in progress. And God is continuing to work on us so that we look like the son, his son, Jesus Christ. Can you hear God calling? One of his apostles, come in, Matthew. Come in. You haven't always been where you are, Matthew. You haven't always been anointed. You haven't always been sanctified, Matthew. You haven't always been filled with the Holy Ghost. Matthew, you used to be a tax collector. But Matthew, the people couldn't stand you because you stole from the people. Matthew, don't look down on the next man that used to be a thief. Matthew, don't look down just because somebody may have stolen before because you used to do the very same thing. Remember where you came from, Matthew, because it will help ground you. For we are all a work in progress, and God is continuing to build us up so we look like the Son of God. Can you hear God talking to his son? Come here, Jesus Christ. Come here. There's something I want you to do for me, Jesus. Do you remember when I sent you down to that sin sick world? I sent you down there and you walked that long road to Calvary? Do you remember that, Jesus? Jesus, you're walking. They put thorns on your head with a crown as if they tried to mock you. But Jesus, they didn't know I already crowned you king of kings, Jesus, and lord of lords. But he marched on. Jesus, do you remember why you were walking? You had to carry that bloody cross on your back. But they did not know that you were carrying the sins of the world on your shoulders. Jesus, do you remember when they raised you high? They put nails in your hands, Jesus. They put nails in your feet, Jesus. Do you remember? They pierced you in the side and laid you in that borrowed tomb. But they didn't know you wasn't going to need it for long. You only needed it three days, Jesus. Do you remember? Remember where you came from, son. Jesus got up all power in his hands. God said, you know what? Since you did what I called you to do, I'm going to give you heavens from the on earth. I'm going to give you power from the heavens and power from the earth and put it in your hands. Jesus, did you not know that you are already king of kings and lord of lords? Jesus died on the cross for our sins and he did not forget where he came from. Jesus continues to testify to the world through us. Jesus continues to reach those who are lost through us. It is our commission and our duty. But sometimes we got to put ourselves aside. Come out of our old tired self. Get down off of our high horse and get down where the people are so that they can understand that what you're doing, I used to do as well at some point in time. And use that as a testimony. Use it as an opportunity to witness to that person so that they can have life and have it more abundantly. Amen to the preaching of God's word.